Today I want to talk to you about one of the most common complaints I get from staff members and that's the music. They don't like the music. Well, sometimes we've got much bigger problems than the music. I hope that all the problems are sorted and the only thing you've got left is to sort out the music um, because it's not that big of a deal on the scheme of some of the issues we have. However, it's really important to show your team that you're listening and that everybody does contribute to what happens here in the salon. So the way I get around that is I give everybody a choice so they can have a day of the week when it's their choice and they get to choose the music. So of course you'd have to put some guidelines in place like no head baggy music or uh, no repeating the same artist all day. You'd have to be a little bit considerate of the others, but I think it's a really nice way that people get to choose. Now, you might not do that on Saturday. It might be that maybe Saturday and Friday it's salon music and the other days of the week, depending on how many team members you have. And it works really well. And it gives them a sense of belonging, which is really important. Now, the other thing that I think is often unaddressed um, is phones, phone policies. Some people think it's okay to have it on silent and I think when your phone's on silent you actually have to go and have a look at it all the time because you don't know if you've got a message. So I'm not saying put your phones on so that you can hear but I think it needs to be a group discussion across the board as to what is acceptable. Uh, sometimes uh, I've had them put in a box at the front door, they go in the front drawer and everybody's phone goes in the front drawer. And then at lunchtime, here's your phone, go to lunch, after work, here's your Here's your phone. It actually gives you a really good reason to concentrate and I think um, you know they are being paid every hour that they're there so I think they need to be present every hour that they're there. Some people um, have it in, I've seen salons where all the staff have their phones in their pockets and they think it's okay to, to pull it out and have a look and they say oh this is a client, yeah I'll ring her up, she'll come in tomorrow. Not how I'd like to do it but um, I appreciate that everybody has a different approach. I think you're distracted when you have your phone on, I really do. I wouldn't like anyone to miss out on an important call, so I always say all phone calls are welcome through the front desk. If your mum needs you, tell her to call and we'll give you a message. So I think it's just a common courtesy to your clients. So have a, have a think about what you'd like to have as your policy and then do that. Because consistency is means we don't have to keep repeating our message. The other thing I need you to consider is the smoking. Um, some salon owners smoke, so of course they're going to let their team members smoke. And I'm not a big fan of smoking, although I used to be a smoker myself. But I think it's really important that, once again, one size fits all. So I had a, room, uh, a policy in my salon that it was 30 metres away. The last thing I wanted is a girl standing outside my salon smoking. Yuck. So it was a 30 metres away rule and you need to brush your teeth when you come back. Now, what that does is it makes it a little bit difficult for them and then they consider that maybe stopping smoking while you're at work. And most people don't want to smoke more. You rarely hear someone saying, oh, I wish I could get some more cigarettes into me every day. I haven't really heard that one. But what they'd say is if you take that away from them and they know that at the end of the day um, that's the option to smoke, then they work around it. Um, it's interesting, I sent a girlfriend of mine as a mystery shopper to one of the salons I was looking after and she said, look, lovely girl, really nice, and the foils were great, blah, blah. But what she said was her hands smelt of cigarette smoke. And while she's winding the foils up right close here to her face, she said, it just stinks. And I think that they don't do that intentionally. They don't understand that they do smell. And although they might have come back and popped a mint, it doesn't really mask it. So it's a conversation that you need to have with the girls. And one exercise is to say, don't have a cigarette in the morning when you come into work and then I'll put you beside someone who's just had one and see if you can't smell that this person smells like a smoker. So do whatever you can to make them realise that it's kind of not fair to the, the general public to have someone who smells like cigarette, especially in facials, that's another one too. So that's what I'd like you to consider this week as your tip. Have a great day.